this is literally just me going, I'm gonna be angry, I'm gonna get raped, I'm gonna get raped. I just want to say, can we take in this glorious sweater? I love it. I love it so much. And the best part, can we just, can we just, I'm an elf. <laughs> I love it. Hey guys, it's Jay and I am here with the Joy of Christmas book tag. It is almost Christmas time. It's probably past Christmas time by the time that I upload this, but shh, nobody needs to know. It was created by Sam over at Novels and Nonsense, which I will link down below for all of you to go check her out. She's super awesome. She's always creating really cool tags. So if you're looking for a tag, go look at Sam's channel because there's probably one up. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but since Christmas is here, I figured, you know, I should film a bunch of Christmas tags. There's a total of eight questions that I'm going to be answering for all of you, so without further ado, let us get started. The first question is anticipation, and it is the book you were most anticipating for 2016, and I am going with Truth Witch by Susan Denner. I'll put in a picture because I don't have the editing software to put it beside me, so sorry. It is about two best friends. One is a truth witch who is able to tell the truth from lies, and the other is a thread witch which is able to tell the invisible connections between people. And it just sounds so cool, and I want to read it so badly. But I'm not going to buy it because I'm going to have self-control this year. Maybe. Probably not. The second question is Christmas songs and carols. What book or author can you not help but sing its praises for? So I'm picking one author and one book, and my book is obviously The Death by Cody Kuplinger because I cannot go through a tag video without mentioning this book. It is so good. I loved it. The end. I should really put up a review for this book because I talk about it all the time. And then the author I'm going to pick is Lisa McMahon. I've only read this book by her, but it was so good and her writing is just, it keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. I absolutely loved it. If you haven't read this book, pick it up, please do it. It was so good. The third question is Gingerbread Houses and it is what series or book has wonderful world building and I'm going with The House of Night series by PC Cast. I read this when I was like 12 years old. So I mean my 12 year old brain thought that it was amazing and every book got better to my 12 year old brain. It might be terrible now if I reread it, but I'm not going to because this is the 11th book and the 11 book series is a lot of books to read when you haven't read all the books in your room yet, so. Question number four is A Christmas Carol, and it is your favorite classic or one you want to read. I'm going to go with Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I read this in like grade 11 English, and I absolutely loved it. Honestly, if I probably didn't have to read it for a course, I probably would have liked it a lot more than I did. But it was really good. And This is actually the copy from my high school. I stole it. Criminal record. I'm getting cold for Christmas. Question number five is Christmas Sweets. What book would you love to receive for Christmas? And I'm going to go with Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, just because I've heard so many incredible things about it and it sounds so good. And I really want to read it, but money and uh, all these books, so no, I'm fine. Maybe I'll go to the library and take it, but probably not because I need to have self-control. I really do. Question number six is Candles in the Window. What book gives you warm and fuzzy feelings? And I'm going to go with Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I absolutely adore this book. I have a review of it. I'll leave it down below if you're interested. Shameless promotion as usual. <laughs> I honestly love this book so much. It is so cute and so funny and it just warms your heart right up. If you haven't read it, definitely pick it up. Question number seven is Christmas tree and decorations. What are some of your favorite book covers? I'm picking three of them because I could go on forever about this, so I'm limiting myself to three. I'm gonna go with Trollfell by Catherine Langrish. I love this cover because when you open it, you see the little trolls are peeking through because there's a hole in the book. So it's like the trolls are looking through. I don't know. I think it's so cute. I love it. I love it so much. I've never read this book, but I love the cover. I love it. I'm also going with Cold Kiss by Amy Garvey just because it is so shiny and I'm a magpie and I love shiny things. And finally, I'm picking Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. I love this cover. I took a million pictures of it because I'm obsessed with it. It looks so cool on camera. Just saying. And finally, question eight is Christmas joy. What are some of your favorite memories about Christmas or things to do on Christmas? I'm going to say baking because I get to do it with my mom during Christmas, which I love. And I get to make gingerbread cookies, which are my favorite. And they don't really, it's, they're not really fun to make unless it's Christmas time. Because Christmas time means gingerbread. Logic, you know? Alright guys, so that was the joy of Christmas tag. I will leave who I'm tagging down below, so check that out. It's probably you. Tag your it. It's happening. Do it because Christmas. I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Little. Just what book or Arthur? Yep, we're talking about Arthur.
books now. The second question is, what's the second question? The second question is Christmas books. What? Songs, Jan, songs. House of Flies, House of Flies, what? I'm thinking of House of Nights, that's what we're all You think I'd be able to remember Kristoff because the name of the guy from Frozen and I'm obsessed with Frozen. What is wrong with me today? 